Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial, and today we're on the ironclad USS Monitor. Monitor is the first turreted armored warship in history, firing exploding shell projectiles. She is the beginning of an entirely new lineage of warships, which culminates with battleships like USS New Jersey, a final generation battleship, and the ultimate expression of armored, turreted warships with rifled, shell-firing guns, steel armor plate, and steam-powered propulsion. Monitor is significantly smaller than New Jersey at 179 feet long on deck and just 41 feet wide. We're standing here at Monitor's armored conning tower, her pilot house, a small armored box, which was partially effective. Uh, her commanding officer, Commander Warden, was, uh, had, had his eyes injured when a sh shell from CSS Virginia hit this pilot house with him inside during the Battle of Hampton Roads, March 13th, 1862. Behind us, of course, is the iconic feature of USS Monitor, her armored revolving turret in which two 11-inch Dahlgren shell guns were mounted. This turret could rotate towards a target to fire its huge projectiles and then rotate away while the guns were being reloaded so that the slab-sided armor on the back of the turret could take any hits. Monitor was designed as a coastal defense warship and while traveling on the open ocean between stations, she sank in a storm. Most of her hull is still underwater, however, the Mariner's Museum in Newport News, Virginia, was able to salvage iconic parts of the ship, such as the propeller, the guns, and even the entire turret. They have also created a replica of Monitor full size, so full 179 feet on deck by 41 feet wide. Unlike earlier steam-powered ships, Monitor didn't have paddle wheels. She traded in for a below-water propeller, fully protected from enemy shot. Like other early steam-powered ships, Monitor relied on coal, which spun her single propeller, which was directly behind her single rudder. Above us, you'll notice that she has a wide, flat hull, coming down to a pretty shallow, hydrodynamic, below-water section. Uh, Monitor was very much a ship designed for coastal operations, and she could sail up rivers and, and in other restricted waterways, and with her rudder directly behind her propeller, she, she was relatively maneuverable uh, for a ship as slow and chunky as she is. The replica proposed for the Navy Marine Corps 250 celebrations will be able to float, unlike this one in Newport News, Virginia. But that means that you can't see these underwater features, which you can walk around if you come to the Mariner's Museum features which include her single anchor. Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial is working in partnership with the Navy and Marine Corps USA 250 commemoration group to build our own replica of USS Monitor to be on display on the Delaware River during the 250th anniversary of the founding of the Continental Navy, forebears the United States Navy, and then, following those ceremonies, the monitor is hoped to be displayed at Battleship New Jersey so that guests can experience the beginning and the end of turreted armored warships. Stay tuned for more information about our planning for USA 250 and make plans to come to the Philadelphia area in 2025 to see where the Navy and the Marine Corps were founded and to visit historic ships from across the entire history of those services, all on display for the public to see in October of 2025. What do you think is the most historically significant vessel in the history of the United States Navy? Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and also from a number of other private uh, businesses and individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate the support that you guys have given us. There's a link in the description below 
to support the USA 250 commemoration group. And we hope that you will help us rebuild our own monitor alongside USS New Jersey and bring Navy and Marine Corps assets to the Philadelphia area in celebration of the 250th anniversary of their founding. Thanks for watching.